Struggling with droopy overhangs or saggy bridges? You're not alone, but with a few simple tweaks, you can fix these common issues and achieve cleaner, more precise prints. I'm Erica with LNL 3D Solutions, and in today's video, we'll break down why overhangs and bridges fail and the slicer and printer adjustments you need to get them right. Let's get started. Overhangs are sections of your print that extend beyond the previous layer. Angles greater than 45 degrees often struggle without extra support. Bridges are horizontal spans that connect two points without touching the build plate. If not handled correctly, they sag or break mid-print. Both issues happen due to gravity. If the filament doesn't cool or solidify quickly, it droops. Incorrect speeds, temperatures, and poor cooling all contribute to these failures. Cooling is critical. For materials like PLA, set your fan to 100% after the first layer. The ETG needs less cooling, around 50 to 70%, to avoid layer splitting. Ensure bridge fan speed is also at maximum to solidify filament quickly during long spans. For overhangs, slow down to 30 to 40 millimeters per second. Bridges benefit from slower speeds too. 20 to 30 millimeters per second gives the filament time to stretch without breaking. Smaller layers provide better support for overhangs. Use 0.1 millimeters for detailed overhangs and 0.2 millimeters for general prints. Use tree supports or angled based supports to reinforce extreme overhangs. Set your overhang threshold to 50% if you want better coverage. In many slicers, you'll find a bridge flow ratio setting. Lowering it to 90 to 95% helps prevent sagging by reducing the amount of filament extruded during bridge sections. A cooler nozzle reduces filament droop. If you print PLA at 210 degrees Celsius, try lowering it to 195 to 200 degrees Celsius for better overhangs and bridges. Just don't go too low or you'll under extrude. A perfectly leveled bed is essential. If the bed is off, your first bridge layer may fail. Use a leveling tool like our bed locking kit available on our website lnl3d.com or paper method to ensure even calibration across the surface. Over extrusion causes sagging. Run an extruder calibration test to ensure your printer feeds the exact amount of filament required. Rotate your model to avoid printing steep overhangs. Ensure your part cooling fan directs air exactly where it's needed. If possible, Upgrade to a better fan duct that distributes airflow evenly across the print. Use small bridge test models to fine tune your settings. These quick prints help you troubleshoot before starting a long job. Improving overhangs and bridges is all about fine tuning. With the right cooling, slower speeds, and careful printer calibration, you'll see massive improvements.